Supermassive black holes at the center of most galaxies have been known for a long time. The Milky Way's black hole in the middle, Sagittarius A, is quite small, about 4 million solar masses. The discovery of a giant black hole with 30 billion times our sun's mass is pretty recent. We know already that this is one of the biggest black holes we've ever found. And just what makes this even better is that this dark monster was literally thrown out of its galaxy. Okay, so that's kind of unsettling. Yes, galaxies apparently fling gigantic black holes into the void of space. A research team at Durham University in UK uncovered this almost unbelievable scenario. James Nightingale, who led the research, explained in an interview, It's at the maximum size for a black hole that is theoretically possible. That means we're definitely dealing with one of the biggest black holes of all time. So it's amazing, said Dennis Brandt, director of the Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array Unit at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in Socorro, New Mexico. Instead, researchers are referring to it as ultra-massive, rather than just supermassive. To give a little bit of context, our sun, mass roughly 1 nonillion 989 octillion kilograms, 1,889 zeros. Related questions. Top notes, middle, notes base notes. This thing has a mass of about 5,167, followed by 40 zeros. Chances are you're wondering, where was this black hole discovered and if it's dangerous? Luckily, the object was found at a safe distance in the galaxy cluster AEL-121, about 2.7 billion light-years away from Earth. Despite its size, black holes are so small, you'd have to stop dead to see it, and then only because it is swallowing something. This giant seems to be inactive, without its own matter to enlighten it. The discovery was possible thanks to a gravitational lens used by Nightingale and his team. The black hole's enormous mass deformed space-time like the magnifying glass on, a viewer revealing its presence and making for some cool data about these elusive objects. Black holes. The colorful world. Yes, that's right. If you think a black hole is nothing but a dark, hungry beast at the edges of the universe, then you're wrong. Far blacker and far more interesting than they appear, black holes are far more varied. Black holes are really just things that are so dense that absolutely nothing can escape their gravity. This physically. Black holes are categorized into four types. Galaxy centers. Large, bright galaxies containing supermassive black holes between 10,000 and several billion solar masses. Less common, but also in galaxy centers or directly in the universe, around 1,000 parts of the Sun. Other astrophysics, stellar black holes. There are about 10 solar masses formed by a star exploding in a supernova. Hypothetical objects of the same mass as Earth's moon forming primordial black holes that would have formed shortly after the Big Bang. Einstein theorized black holes, but he didn't take it physically. Physicalist John Archibald Wheeler coined the term black hole in 1967 at a presentations. In 1964, the first confirmed discovery of a black hole was Cygnus X1, a black hole in a binary system with a massive blue supergiant star. Inside black holes, the bizarre stuff that goes on inside a black hole is something you just can't imagine. A black hole's singularity is the point of the core, of the concentration of mass into an infinitely small point where all known physical forces have exceeded infinity. Just before that point, matter gets stretched up into long, spaghetti shapes. Once it passes the point of no return, out into the black hole, it's never seen again, into the black hole if continues to grow with each meal. The search for understanding. Decades, they remained theoretical. In 2019, researchers snaped the first black hole image to date, a black hole in the center of a galaxy 55 million light-years away. The motion of stars and the spiral arms of its galaxy are driven by its 6.5 billion solar masses. But newer discoveries like those from the James Webb Space Telescope have brought new possibilities of primordial black holes formed only 500 million years into the Big Bang. 
The objects themselves pose questions about how quick black holes grow and how they even got to be where they are. Black holes and quantum physics hawking radiation is a black hole's faint stream of particles emitted from within it. One day, they could help us by telling us what's inside. Because we're exploring quantum computing, scientists hypothesize we will find more answers about the universe. Despite everything we've gathered about black holes, they continue to remain some of the most mysterious and fascinating objects out there and their study continues to question what physics is and has in turn questioned what reality is.